Hello everybody and welcome back to the GTA 5 information show and today I'm going to give you some uh, things you can expect in uh, GTA 5. So here we go. First thing is changing protagonists, which is yes, changing protagonists, as you can pick from three different people to follow in the crazy world. Uh, even crazier is you can change from in between all to between them all throughout the game. A special menu takes you up above the city in a Google Earth type fashion before throwing you back down to the person of your choice. In between in between missions or during certain ones, you can switch to another person to stay at the front of the action. Each character has their own skills and personality and even lives. You never know um, where you'll find one of them or what they might be doing. Okay, the second thing you can expect is stealing vehicles. As usual, we can expect to jack many of the vehicles in GTA 5, remembering that not all citizens will let you take their car without issue. <clears throat> the cops will notice you breaking in or tugging people out, as well as car alarms giving them the heads up that the car isn't yours, so take a quick look around before trying anything. Next one's missions, obviously another obvious feature. Rockstar loves telling stories and making their games truly playable movies. Rockstar, the st uh, the st Rockstar progresses the story uh, by playing through missions. That involve plenty of driving with chances of shootouts and running from the law. A simple mission may go, may go awry without notice. It seems very possible that Rockstar will give us a little bit more control over the story, so you might not you might want to con consider the outcomes when faced with killing someone. They might help you later in or stabbing you in the back. Choose wisely. Uh, you can expect strangers and random encounters, as in GTA 4 there are a number of random pedestrians for us to find and complete simple missions for. Red Dead Redemption featured these type of side missions as strangers. Red Dead Redemption, all, all, uh, Red Dead Redemption also introduced uh, random world events where the player could intervene in various occurrences from stagecoach robberies to damsels in distress, although sometimes it was a trap. GTA 5 will feature these, ty these types of side missions in the form of hitchhikers, police stations, uh, stuff like that. Or another thing you can expect is climbing obstacles <coughs> and swimming. Uh, climbing obstacles is escaping the law, or sneaking around an enemy building requires more action than just jumping five feet forward. Over the past few years, Rockstar has improved our ability to scale fences, get across ledges, go where paths can't take us. A feature that didn't make it into GTA 4 was the ability to climb telephone poles. LA Noir featured climbing up pipes on buildings, so such a feature could make its way into GTA 5. The swimming, uh, while confirmed. While confirming GTA 5 would release in spring 2013, Rockstar mentioned that the game wouldn't stre would stretch from the tops of the mountains to the depths of the ocean, and it, it, it is now uh, confirmed that swimming and uh, possible diving will make a comeback in GTA 5. Uh, it also m makes us wonder what kind of vehicles will help us reach these depths of the oceans. You can also expect character customization. In GTA 4, we had a selection of clothing to customize Nico. GTA 5 will continue to, for this for each protagonist. However, there won't be any RPG elements such as muscle and fat gain, as in uh, GTA San Andreas. You can also accept the phone to return. And in GTA 4, it served many uses. Uh, mission bosses would give you work and friends would contact you using your phone. It also provided a small menu to access multiplayer, among other things. A phone features again in GTA 5. Multiplayer and other menus have been removed, but the phone has other modern features of today's phones. Maybe we will be able to save pictures we took this time too. Uh, the radio. Uh, we all have that favourite tune we were on page 2. Check out what radio stations we could be listening to on my uh, GTA 5 uh, radio stations video. Go check that out and then come back to the video. Internet, uh, we can expect to see many websites returning in the in-game internet of GTA 5 and plenty more to be added. Email uh, may once again play an important role for certain contacts or access their fe extra features plus side missions. The television, one of the lesser used features in GTA 4, and there's a decent variety of shows to provide entertainment while taking a break between rampages, but that can be expanded upon for GTA 5. Weasel News and other favourites will likely return with all new episodes. Public transportation. If you want to take a break from jacking old ladies and <laughs> taking the sights, hailing taxis will probably return from GTA 4. Train tracks and catenary wires were spotted in the first trailer, so we'll likely have that to quickly traverse the map. Rockstar may even in uh, include buses running along actual bus routes to take us cross country too. Friends and relationships. The infamous, the infamous friend system for GTA 4 will return to GTA 5, probably without the bowling and boob obsessed cousin. We can expect building friend relationships to unlock friend abilities such as Packy's car bombs and Jacob's mobile weapon shop in GTA 4. The dating system will not return. Minigames. While doing all of the above gets boring, there's always other minigames to accomplish. Base jumping. San Andreas and Tobogged, uh, the Battle of Tony, Tobogged, and that's a great name, gave us the ability to use parachutes and an escape option for aircraft or to leap from tall scrutches and scream, Wee! 
parachutes will be returning for GTA 5 and surely there will be special locations to leap from in order to score personally and against other GTA 5 players throughout the Rockstar Games Social Club leaderboard. Racing, sometimes in GTA, in GTA you'll meet people who are certain their car will go faster than yours. Races can be a part of story missions and are usually side missions too. Races do not need to be for cars only, it seems likely dirt bikes among other options and ATVs, uh, quad bikes, will be available for racing through the city streets and the countryside of GTA 5, not to mention watercraft out on the bay and aircraft across the skies. Sports, in the debut GTA 5 trailer we see a group playing golf, in the leisure set of screenshots from August a tennis court with players is shown in Michael's back garden. Game Informer confirmed that there will be a full golf, golf course to play through, triathlons and tennis will also feature in the game as we speculated. And lastly, billiards and card games, etc. Uh, San Andreas and GTA 4 featured billiard tables to play against local citizens or friends. Red Dead Redemption featured a couple of variations of cards, poker and blackjack, and other similar mini games. The games were also made available online via DLC. GTA 5 may feature these types of games to earn extra money in local bars or even back alley high stakes gambling. Game Informer also confirmed that yoga will be in GTA 5, and there are plenty other of other things they haven't even told us yet. So that's basically it for today guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this little video, uh, let me know which uh, part of uh, the GTA 5, the gameplay, will be your favourite. Uh, and apart from that guys, that's basically it for the video, thanks a lot for uh, 400 subscribers, let's keep it going, <laughs> it's really appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video guys, thanks for watching, bye.